What's going on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for uh, Love & Hip Hop New York. This is the reunion part one. Everybody having a reunion and some shit right now. It is a reunion or a uh, finale. Anyway, uh, I do want to say, I, I know y'all see me wearing all this green, and it dawned on me after I hit record, there's a green screen behind me. If I activate the green screen, there is a good chance that I'm going to, you know, blend in the background, but... We'll see how all this goes, all right? So I'm gonna try to give you all this somewhat blow by blow, but not really. So Remy Ma uh, is talking about her relations more or less with her ma, her mother. And pretty much it's like, it's gonna take time. So you have uh, Rashida and Yandy. And you know, Rashida whole thing is, I could fuck with you if you kept it real. If it was one of those where I know my friend and, and, you know, Rashida got beef, but that ain't got shit to do with me, you know, but she's not acting like that. Not to mention those two got beef. If y'all go back, if it was, I, it, it was within like the last two or three reunions, they actually got into it. So they actually got beef. Let's not front like they don't. But then you had Yandy come for that blow talking about so I can't help it if you tried it on different reality shows and finally hit this one. Now that struck a nerve, but we didn't all fucking said it. All right, because she has tried other reality shows. She was somewhat of a main character on here once before, but I don't know what the fuck going on with her. Now Yandy decides that, you know, be, and even uh, Remy even says that she is shady as shit. And even in the playback, she can see it. And Yandy was saying to you know, Rashida, you know, you have a bad case of the CT, the whole, you you know, can't take. And she gets up to show off her body, which I will say, yeah, and his body is nice. I don't like what she's wearing. I don't like the fucking blonde hair. I like her with black hair. I don't really fuck with Yandy. I don't see it for Yandy. But I'm just being honest. But you can see she's being shady. It's just one of those where you see my body after having all these kids. But bitch, look at your body with no kids. I, I see what she was trying to do. Um... Bianca did clock the ass just saying it's kind of fucked up that y'all are trying to sit here and tell us to behave but look at the way that both of you are acting and Yandy's trying to shut that shit down like I ain't did nothing but come on now I'm missing with the bullshit and if you guys were listening to I guess not the trailer but the build up of how they were introducing the uh, reunion the fact that you know there's going to be an announcement that's going to shock you know the world if it's Amina being pregnant, which I think we all know that she is, and that's what it is, real shit, Mona, you need to sit here and uh, and, and you go have to pay me for this. Uh, you need to sit down with all these motherfucking cast members and have them sign an ironclad fucking contract stating that you will not speak out of term. You will not do this. You will not reference this. You will not say this. You will not give hints to any of this. Especially if it's supposed to make for good fucking television because Milan fucked that shit up. And as you can see right now that, what's that girl name? Fuck, I cannot think about. Oh, and they're giving us a fucking trailer for Love and Hip Hop ATL. I'll watch the shit on the replay. But, you know, uh, Mina showing the pics and whatnot. So it's one of those where you should pretty much say that if y'all sit here and violate this, either A, y'all not going to get paid, or y'all going to sit here and your check going to get cut in half every time there's an infraction. But I'll be back. Okay, so just a couple of things. And periodically, I think I will make mention of, I guess we could say fashions again. I'm not one to really talk about fashion because, like I said, I'm very simple when it comes to what the fuck it is that I do. But, you know, is it just me or does it seem like uh, the host, I think her name is Nina Parker. Like, why does she look like, you know, a sheet or a roll of fucking aluminum foil? Like... I, I don't I don't think that was befitting of her, but that's hey shit. Do 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 you look thug? This do what you do. And Mariah Lynn on some real shit. Why does her hair look like a blue fucking snow cone that has most of the fucking juice sucked out of it? Like I don't know. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping on what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all let me know. Anyway, they talk about uh. Mariah Lynn having to catch his uh, hook or line, you know, once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm in there, I won't take it back because I did the shit. 
I even admitted to y'all, like I reviewed the fucking uh, music video, the song, and it was so fucking catchy, I bought the shit. So she got my, not, was it 99 cents? Was it however the fuck much it was? She got my coin. All right. And actually, I got a lot of fucking reviews off that fucking video. So thank you, Mariah Lynn. Um, I was waiting for them to do the whole never bitch, never bitch, never, ever, 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 ever bitch. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I won't buy that song. I'm not, but I'm sorry. Y'all know I got no damn sense. So, Rashida's event come up and Lexi whole thing is, you know, I'm mad because, you know, you my manager. You know me longer. Why didn't you have me up there? And you know what? I'm glad Remy clocked her ass. And I didn't even think about it. Remy said the best. Bitch, I'm a seasoned fucking rapper. She had me fucking decorating. We ain't got shit else to say. And I don't think any other uh, YouTuber even mentioned that. That shit totally slipped my mind, but go ahead. Um, and you had uh with the event, and they were trying to figure out if um uh Bianca actually earned the title of winning, and what's her name? Um, Mo was just like I think it was favoritism because you know Rob's her friend. Rob was like, well, bitch, if it's favoritism, then why don't you become the favorite? And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is <clears throat> Cardi B was popping off of the bitch that was in the fucking um. Or is it, if y'all wonder why I'm looking at this, because I'm looking at the screen, at my TV in the event it come back on. I'm trying to get this shit out at a time of matter. But, you know, she saw somebody that you sell her, she wouldn't amount to anything, she wouldn't be shit, and is in the uh, audience talking shit, but you like, but you the same motherfucker saying that shit, but bitch, guess what you looking on? You watching me, you over there where I'm right here. And right there, if that wasn't a word, that's a word. You do what you do, y'all. Press on. Stay busy, leave motherfuckers in the wayside. It, here's the thing. If motherfuckers talking about you, you doing something right. Let motherfuckers talk. Because more often than not, if they're talking about you, again, if y'all didn't watch the interview, they hate us because they ain't us. Let them keep our name in their mouth. Let them be on the blogs and trending topics and forums and shit. Let them talk. Don't give in to it. Because the reality is this. When it is all said and done, if you continue to do what you do and pay the ass does, they going to be exactly where they need to be, constantly looking on while you sit here moving on to the next thing. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I do want to talk a bit more about fashion, uh, more or less with Mo. Uh, in terms of the dress, man, <laughs> you know, man, I, I think she should have just wore just like a real simple, well, actually her and Lexi. I think <clears throat> had they just wore like a nice little ballroom type gown, I think that would have been nice. What I will say is Mo hair looks great. You know, I think that even if she were to do like the whole G.I. Jane and just rock a fade, just like the way that her head and everything is shaped, that would work for her. But the hairstyle she has now is <clears throat> nice. It's nice. You know, she's she's looking nice. I'll give her that. But they're talking about the whole relationship with Cisco. And <clears throat> they had asked... Um, Mo, you know, like why she got so upset. They said third, and Mo was just like, "We've been dating for three months, but the reason that I got upset is because he told me don't date other people." He was like, "I never said it." She was like, "Why, why don't y'all play it back when we had that sit down and you cook for me?" He smooth shut that shit down, like he he because I think they had the footage, and I I, I want them to be on a Bravo messiness and just play the clip. But it is what it is. <clears throat> My issue with Mariah Lynn, I even said just like shit. If you sitting here and you doing what you doing and you being the hoe that you is, <clears throat> you ain't gotta sit here and say, oh, cause we've been macking. You ain't gotta play your hand like that. That's what you fucking up. But that could have been one of those where it's just like, mm, so y'all fuck it. And she could have used that to her advantage. And I hate to say it, but blackmail is that just be like, bitch, I know your secret. So un unless you don't want me talking to her, you. Come on now. If you a hoe, see, that's, that's the issue. You a hoe, but not a whore. I'm going to need for you to step your pussy up now, Mariah. Step your pussy up, baby. Um, what else? And then the whole bullying of Mariah came up. I don't re exactly remember how we got there, but shit started to get a little bit heated, escalated, and you have Cardi B saying her piece. Now, you see, Mo ain't say shit to Cardi, but you somewhat have, what's the girl name, um... Uh, Lexi kind of having words where, <clears throat> but you still see that Lexi not finna sit there and pull it with Mariah. But it seemed like with, um, what's her name? With Cardi bringing it up, 
Mariah Lynn allowed a battery to get put in her back. And I was just like, well, you did say something. You was like, well, if I walk past her, I'll blow away. Well, you know what, bitch, blow. And it's just like, okay, you trying to have your moment. You want to be back next season. <clears throat> and then, you know, Lexi said, get up. So they both stand up, but peep game. Mariah Lynn didn't, she took one step and didn't advance. Lexi was walking high as cross. It's like, you know what, fuck it. Did y'all catch that? So that's how one of those where you really didn't want to fight or you wanted to play that victim role. Either one, you didn't want to fight. Two, you want to play that victim role of, oh, she swung on me. Or three, you wanted to be where you hit me first. So now when I tag that ass, you know, you can't say shit. I don't know. Y'all let me know which one of three y'all thought it was. So by the looks of it, I think I'm giving you guys quite a bit. A hell of a lot more than I gave y'all for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh... <laughs> reunion part one yesterday like i said 24 hour duty my ass is still suffering from it because my fucking sleep pattern have been all the way fucked up today but that's not why we're here not why we're here before i even get to it i think the next part with tara i'm not first and foremost i'm probably not gonna speak that much about it because i would already told y'all fuck tara fuck peter fuck amina fuck yandy fuck nigga dc's I've already said that. Y'all heard me say it. So unless something really comes up, I'm probably not going to talk about it. In reference to Tyra, Tyra going to say some fuck flip lip shit. And even though it's grounds to get, you know, uh, red and for me to put my professor glasses on and, you know, t you know take her ass to college, I'm not going to do it. I will not. I might do it <laughs> if, if, if she pisses me off enough, but it may not happen anyway. The, so we pick back up with the fight or altercation. Mariah Lynn throwing her shoes. I, I, I want to tell her, like, come on now. There's only one There's only one woman that can come out of her shoes, and that's Patty LaBelle, okay? And she, she, you ain't nowhere close. <laughs> Your ass ain't in the arena. Your ass at a cafe while she in the arena. I'm going to need for you to sit down and keep your shoes on, but... But you had Lexi talking about some, you know, she going to get diabetes because she is salty. Um, Le 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 Lexi, if, if you going to try to read, baby, I'm going to need for you to pick up a book. And uh, I'm better yet, I fuck my glasses over there. But, um, boo, uh, salt, a whole lot of salt, being salty, you get hypertension, high blood pressure. I should know because I'm on the medication. I wonder if I'm the only motherfucker that caught that. Okay. Mariah says that, or allegedly Mariah was pregnant with Rich's uh, child, but she got an abortion. But I, but I think what Mariah was trying to say is if I'm this type of hoe that you paint me to be, I would have had the child and you would have been paying me. So, I mean, if she was, in fact, <clears throat> you know, pregnant with Rich's child and she decided to, you know, not do that, I mean, you know, I can respect her, you know, enough, you know, to know that that's not a situation that she wanted. And she didn't want to go down as, you know, one of those women that we know exists and is all way there. And with the whole men having daughters and shit, it came up like, okay, with well, y'all having daughters. With the way that y'all act on here, how do y'all feel when it comes to your respective children? You know, and Peter even said, and I mentioned to him, but he was like, I'm feeling it myself because this shit happened with one of my daughters. And I wanted to step to one of the boys, but I know that had I stepped to him, he would look back at me like, really? So, just know that um sometimes, you know, your children will pay for your sins. Okay, so, remember that. Um... I have a legit question. You all, first and foremost, uh, I do wonder why Whitney's on the stage. I don't think that this is an appropriate uh, place for his daughter, <laughs> you know? But hey, you know, it is what it is, but I think her hair probably should have been darker. But it is a, and this is my opinion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. But it is fucked up when this youngin' then got her ass on this stage and then pretty much snacked the motherfucking wigs and edges of every last hoe 
that is on that damn stage. Now, y'all rid of me this, rid of me that, but who did dress the damn best? I'm going to say it go to Sir Whitney. But y'all let me know. But I'm just saying. I'm not saying. But I'm just saying. Because right now, I'm not talking about nothing that Peter Tyre or Mina Asden said. Not right now. You guys... Amina is pregnant. Anyway, apparently Tyra gonna try to clock the tea. So we gonna see if in all reality she actually aborted the baby or if she slid back on the dick shortly after. But even though Peter was saying that he was getting the vasectomy, he was getting, he didn't get. We don't even know if the motherfucker got it or not. So, I just can't wait for... What is, uh... Mendeecee's, uh, baby mama... Mama name? Um... I can't think of her name right now, but it looked like she about to sit here and put the motherfucking flu flops on motherfucking Judy. And I, I'm sorry. I know I probably shouldn't be a advocate for fuck, but I, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, waiting for it. So that's all I got for you guys. I really, really hope y'all enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys, yeah, next week. Same time, same place. Holla.